uh, here. So after everything we've already looked at, now what we're doing is we're actually putting the, ve the data that we're typing into here into practice and uh, we keep creating this query which is selecting from a database where it equals something and then a wildcard. So A for example returns Alex Garrett and Alex Malcolm because we have um, A and the rest is a wildcard. Now as I start to type Alex space we're still matching the first one, two, three, four, five characters. However, when I type a G, Malcolm will disappear. And when I type an M, Malcolm will stay there. So we're, we're basically updating this now, um, depending on uh, what's typed in. So we can then type Dale, and we can do the same with Dale. We can type G or M. Uh, we can do with Craig. Craig's the only one in the database. If we type, now, okay, this is another problem that we've we've got. If we go back to nothing now, what's happened is it's selected everything that doesn't equal nothing and then a wildcard. So this, all of this is classed as a wildcard now because we've got nothing in front of it. So what we need to do is we need to um, create um, an if statement in here to say if, in fact, we can do it above this here to be a lot better. So if not empty search, oh god, search text, then run all of this and let's indent that. So if not empty search text, then run all of this and let's bring this all in to make it look a little bit neater. Okay, so let's go back to our page and refresh and see if we fix this problem. So I can type Alex, Garrett, Alex, Malcolm. Uh, you'll see that as we go on, um, then our results disappear. So let's go all the way back to the start and you can see that everything disappears and we don't just get a list of everything up there. So we've learned in this tutorial, um, again, how to create our Ajax request here, but we've added, we've added in this um, get parameter here. So we've, we've added in a variable that's called search text. Uh, then what we've done is we've done our usual, we've sent this request um, um, on key up. So we've, um, we've included this on key up event. And then every time a key is, is uh, released from the keyboard, so we press down and then up, we run this find match function. And that goes through to our request, our Ajax request, brings back the value from this from our PHP file in which we've connected to the database and searched for relevant names using our wildcard character uh, just at the end here. And then what we're doing is we're returning this value to a results div down here. So we've essentially recreated what you would normally find as an auto suggest. Now, like I said at the start of the tutorial, we're not including how to make this look pretty or, um, or incorporate sort of um, the wide, the most widely used uh, or widely typed values. You, I mean, by all means, go and try this for yourself because it's quite easy. All you need to do is modify your statement to say something like where um, uh, where count or amount searched is um, oh no you wouldn't say where you'd say order by so you could order it by um, times searched for example if you were keeping track of how many times this value had been searched so um, also need to bear in mind that when you want to submit this form um, it will actually submit um, to uh, where you should, where you want it to submit, if you were to put the um, action in here. So the part of the find match on key up is fine, but you can actually add an action to go to um, another page.php, for example, and uh, you can say search for Alex Garrett. And you can say yeah, Alex Garrett's there. You press enter, and it will. Um, hmm. Okay, let's go back and refresh that. So, uh, Alex. Yeah, okay, so it's gone to another page. And you've still got your search text variable in there. So you, you, can, uh, you can create this as normal, but what all we've done is we've talked about how to do this um, with the find match function here, which is gonna, gonna then return it to the div. And of course, this div, you can use CSS to attach it to your form if you're good at CSS. Uh, even if you're not, have a look, look it up and see if you can find anything to do with it. You could also think about creating these as hyperlinks so they automatically search for you. So we could do something like, um, let's say we were submitting to another page eventually, you can create um, hyperlinks in here. So you could say um, ahref equals another page.php 
search text equals and then you could have you could have um, the query row name in here as well so what you're actually doing is you are creating a hyperlink out of this so hopefully that makes sense to you let's just uh, go Alex right so what you're getting is you're getting a hyperlink now and if you look at the bottom of the um, page you can see that it says another page.php search text equals Alex Garrett if we hover over this one at the bottom it says search text equals Alex Malcolm so you can actually predefine uh, links that will then submit to your original search page so if you had this as a search field you can have it submit so there's plenty of things you can do with it but for now this is the basics of an auto suggest type thing uh, it's also to suggest type um, code in uh, PHP.